If you're new to us, today is the day that you buy a lot of treasuries and you short junk on the next bounce against it. That's what we want you to be in for the next three quarters. As US economic cycle continues to slow and credit quality risk goes up, we're gonna still see the valiance of the world blow up, bad balance sheets blow up, bad debtors blow up, and that's why you are short the junk. That's why they call it junk. Federal Reserve can mess this up and raise rates into a slowdown. Look at a chart of gold. This is the number one reason why we took this off. And again, I th I, I, the reason why I took that off and I didn't take TLT off is because I think TLT will you know, give it a couple days. It'll bake in that what the Fed's doing is recessionary. Uh, but in a recession, you know, the dollar could still go up. And if the dollar is going up, gold's not going up. I hope you understand that relationship at this point. We've been very consistent on this since we started the firm. Uh, Media term downside in GLD, I might take a shot at it at 102, uh, 102 uh, and change with the immediate term upside to like 108. So it's gonna be wild tr trading gold and as much as trying to manage these Federal Reserve expectations. Again, I've said it a couple times, the risk is the Fed. The Fed's risk is their forecast. You are not gonna know what to do with these, with these people. Neither, neither will they uh, in, in a deflationary environment like this. Uh, as you know, in 2008, this is also when gold bulls got sacrificed. Uh, because again, the dollar went up and rates were going down. So that's, you know, that's a recessionary uh, signal. It's not nothing else. Understand that gold doesn't go up during a recession. Your firm has been spot on with the analysis of the data illustrating de the deceleration in rate of change terms. However, can you speak to the politics of the situation as it relates to the Fed? Uh, haven't the big banks been leaning on the Fed to raise? Yeah, I mean, the politics of the matter are very, uh, very obvious. I mean, because you have I'd say at best, if you were to line up the ducks, like take all the business school people, take all the non-business school people, take all the people like me, take all the Federal Reserve people, all the Ivory Tower people, and you line them up as forecasters, the Federal Reserve would fit out of those kind of five groups, and there's probably 10, they'd be the worst in terms of accuracy. So we're politicizing a, an institution of unelected people to give us, at best, horrendous forecasts. And we're gonna risk manage all of how we think about the cost of capital, where interest rates are going next, and the forward outlook on that horrendous forecast. I, some people say I rant sometimes. Wouldn't you rant sometimes? If, if, can you imagine those, those were the teachers of your children? Could you imagine that 70% of what they told your children wasn't true? Uh, that would qualify as a cult. So I, 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 that's the po political nature of this thing. You know, the fact that Janet Yellen is a, a raging Democrat has nothing to do with her mediocrity at best on a good day from a forecasting perspective. So again, that's why I keep saying the Fed's forecasts are the biggest risk. It has nothing to do with her as a human being. I'm sure she's wonderful. I'm wonderful too as a hockey coach. I'm a little pricklier as an, as an analyst, but I'm much more accurate than her. And that's the problem, is that we have accurate forecasters, which are in the few. We have mediocre forecasters that are in the many. Then we have the Fed, which is in the very special few of being worse than the mediocre forecasters. And again, if you can figure out how, the, how all this ends with any other place than confusion, contempt, concern, I, I, I challenge you to tell me, because I just don't know how something that is ridiculous as everything that I just outlined is going to end. I think it's going to end badly, and I've said this multiple times, and I hope that you're prepared for it, because people that walk around saying that the Fed should just do it, well, do it. If you feel so confident, why don't you raise them today? Why don't you raise them on Friday? Why don't you, this Friday, why don't you raise interest rates? And when the S&P 500 is down 5 or 10% from where it was today, why don't you raise them then? And raise them again, and then tell me again what you were doing and why. Because again, unfortunately, the rest of the data has to still be reported every week, every month, every quarter, and we'll be right here with you on that.